Getting started, you want to grab yourself some heavier weight fabric. I recommend grabbing one yard of twill or canvas. One 16 inch zipper. Two yards of webbing and one buckle set. Parachute cord. And like always, the links to these products will be in the description below. And lastly, you need your pattern, and this pattern is available at ProfitFitClothing.com. Super easy to use, just download it, print it, and you're ready to go. Getting started, go ahead and trace and cut out your pattern. You're gonna wanna end up with two of each panel, one for the lining and one for the outer shell. Grab your bottom panels, both the outside layer and the lining, and grab your zipper, and what you're gonna wanna do is place that zipper on the right side of both and sandwich in between the outer layer and the lining. And as you can see, the zipper is way bigger, but you're gonna be trimming those ends off. Take it to your sewing machine and stitch across that edge. Fold both the front and the back down and go ahead and do a top stitch all the way across that top edge. <laughs> Grab your top panels and mark the center of the curve. Also mark the center of the bottom panel and you're gonna be lining these points up and this will help keep everything centered as you sew it on and make sure that you put both the lining and the outer layer on the same side of the zipper. And I like to start at the center and work towards the outside. It just makes it a little bit easier and keeps that pocket perfectly centered. So we're gonna be using a double fold bias tape binder to clean up those edges. And you can definitely get these for domestic sewing machines too. We're gonna to have links in the description. So go ahead and cut out long pieces of bias tape that are the right measurements to the width of your binder. The other option is to use a bias tape making kit. And this is where you pretty much just make your own bias tape. And it comes with a presser foot that helps you attach the bias tape to your garment. And it's pretty simple to use. All you have to do is cut a strip, feed it through, and iron it. And after that, it works the same as the bias tape. You just fold it over and sew it on, or you use that attachment. And we're gonna be applying the bias tape to the inside seam from the zipper and the top panel. And you can also buy pre-made bias tape, and we'll have a link in the description for that as well. Next, we're going to be adding the flat panels and just make sure that you have them pointing in the right direction. What you're going to do is line them up on the edge with the right sides together and sandwich that in between the top and the bottom panel. And I recommend pinning these on so that way they don't move as you're sewing them and make sure that bias tape is flapped up towards the top of the panel. This keeps it out of the way of the zipper. You're going to want to stitch it on with quarter inch seam allowance. So I forgot to pull the zipper back in before sewing. It's an easy fix. All you have to do is de-thread right where the zipper is, pull it through, and then stitch back over. Next, go ahead and fold the outside flap up but leave the inside flap down. And you're gonna add a top stitch just to the outside front.
Now you can go ahead and trim that zipper off. Then go ahead and repeat this process for the other side. Go ahead and grab about a foot of webbing and your plastic buckle. Loop the webbing through the side that doesn't have the adjuster. And we're going to be stitching it onto the side and make sure it's lined up in the center. And this is to keep it in place while we sew on the back panel. And take the remainder of your webbing and go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. Grab your back panel and mark the centers on both top and bottom. And go ahead and do the same thing for the front panels. And make sure you unzip it a little bit so that way you can pull it right side out easier when you're done sewing. And once everything is tucked in, you can go ahead and pin that on. And from here, go ahead and just stitch around that entire outside edge. And before we flip it right side out, we're going to go ahead and clean those edges up with bias tape. This is going to add more strength and just make it look more professional in the end. And when you're adding it on, I recommend doing the bottom, then the top, and then both the sides. Go ahead and flip the right side out. Next, we're going to be finishing up the buckle, and what you're going to do is add your adjuster on. Just feed it in and back out. Pull it through a little ways, and then do the same thing on the other side of the buckle, and then bring it back through on the opposite side, in and back out of the adjuster. And to prevent it from sliding back through, go ahead and roll the end over twice and stitch across. And lastly, we're going to add a zipper pull, and there's so many different ways of doing this. We're going to start at the base, feed it down through, and then back up through the top of the zipper hole. And simply make a knot at the top, trim the ends, and you're good to go. And there you have it. Your fanny pack shoulder bag is complete. This is a super fun project for all levels. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next time.